What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a sponsored review from a product that was sent to me from Jellycomb and this is their backlit Bluetooth keyboard. This is a really interesting product, it retails for $60 and it actually is packing some pretty interesting features. So first let's talk about some of the physical aspects of this keyboard and then we will get into the special features that makes this keyboard really stand out. So let's check it out now. All right, so before we talk about the physical aspects of this keyboard, I just want to mention there are uh, two things that are included with this keyboard besides the instruction manual. We do have the charging cable, which we'll talk about in just a second, right here, and that is a USB Type-C charging cable. And then we do have a dust cover. So as you can see, it does have a dust cover that is included with it. I personally don't like using dust covers, so I didn't keep it on there, but if you need that to protect it from getting dusty or dirty, whatever, they do include that for free in the case. So let's pop that off and let's take a look at the physical aspects of this keyboard. So as you can see, this is a very wide keyboard. It is a full with 10 key keyboard, okay? Full width, so this is 16.8 inches wide by four and a half inches deep. So it's a good size keyboard, pretty much it's gonna take up quite a bit of uh, space on your desk when you're using it, but you, do, you are gonna get that 10 key if, the, if you're someone that likes punching in those numbers, using it with spreadsheets, whatever it is, you're gonna really find that to be really useful having that full 10 key. And so when it comes to the, the special keys, we do have some extra special keys over here and here. We're gonna talk about those in the, in, the special, in the features section of this review, but right now I just wanna talk about the physical aspects of it. So it is a very low profile keyboard. It's actually 0.35 inches tall so it's half it's less than half of an inch so it's not very thick at all it's very similar to the apple keyboard um, and when it comes to size and the low profile even the way the switches and the keys work that has very similar uh, scissor style switches like what you have what you find in the macbook and also in the apple keyboard and it's so it has a real low profile feel to it so if you're someone that likes using those keyboards using this is going to feel like pretty much exactly the same as using the mac keyboard as you, you can tell though, there are certain keys on here. As you can notice on the bottom here, we have Windows and Alt and Option and Command. So this keyboard, will you, you can use this with Windows, with uh, Mac OS, you can use it with iPad, you can use it with Android, many different devices, which is very cool. And this, it does feature Bluetooth, and we'll talk about some more about the Bluetooth features in just a little bit though. But the, the switches, like I said, they do have similar scissor style switches, very similar to MacBook. So the keys, they, they do have a nice click to them, but they're not very loud, so it's not a noisy keyboard at all. As far as physical buttons go, we only have one actual physical switch on the back, and that is the on and off switch. And that's the only switch that's on the actual keyboard that, that turns it on and off, which is pretty nice. So um, whenever you're not using this keyboard, it will automatically turn off after 30 minutes of inactivity. But if you're done for the day and you don't just want to save up a little bit of battery power, you can actually turn off the switch on the, on the back and just physically switch it off. And then that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to in order to turn it off. The only port we have on the back here is that one single charging port, which is what you would use the included USB Type-C cable that I showed you earlier. And so this cable will is about two feet long and it has its USB Type-C on one end and to USB Type-A. And this is what you'll use to charge up the keyboard. We'll talk a little more about the battery in just a second, but that's the only port that is on there. Overall, I think it looks really sharp and really nice, especially, like I said, if you're into using Mac devices, this kind of goes along with the, the Mac ecosystem, whether it's a, a, an iMac or a MacBook or whatever, it kind of blends in with that. And even if you don't have Macs, it still looks pretty sharp in my opinion. So let's talk about some of the special features of this particular keyboard. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the special features that really stand out on this keyboard. So this, like I mentioned earlier, is a wireless Bluetooth keyboard. It uses Bluetooth 4.2 connection. So you don't need any adapters or anything like that. This will just work with the built-in Bluetooth that is on your, your computers or your devices. It'll, uh, it's rated up to work up to 26 feet away from the computer or the device, which is very nice. So probably one of the coolest features of it is the quick switch system. So if you notice right here, we have three buttons on the very top. Okay, that means that you can sync this keyboard with three different devices to control them. And it can be, one can be Mac, one can be PC, one can be Android, iOS devices like an iPad, anything like that. So I think this is, makes this keyboard really handy to have because it basically makes you, you can avoid having to use a KVM switch in order to control multiple computers up to three with the same keyboard system. And if you're like me and you have like say the uh, Logitech uh, MX mouse, I, I'm able to use this with three different devices as well. So I could have, the three computers I have set up, I can have it to where I just press the, the button on here for number two, on my mouse number two, and I can switch to a different a different computer and be controlling it without having to use multiple keyboards. So very, very cool. I think that's probably one of the best features of all this right here. As you can see, we do have an LED switch on the top. So it does let you know which mode you are in whenever you switch it around. 
and then there's an LED in that top right corner right there and that's the LED will let you know uh, the battery life so it will, it will warn you when the battery is getting low and speaking of battery this actually features a 750 milliamp battery so this will uh, it, I've only actually charged it one time I've been using this for a little over a month now so it, it will like I mentioned earlier it will go it will automatically turn off after 30 minutes of, of, in, of inactivity or of no use at all but you could actually just turn off with the switch on the top right there but when you're using it, it will give you 200 hours of working time and 500 hours of standby time is what it's rated for and it will fully charge up in about two to three hours okay and like i said before the two and a half those 200 hour work time and the 500 hour standby times that's if you're not using the backlight so speaking of the backlight we have the switch right here as you can see so there is a button on the bottom here to engage that backlight and so if you can see it is fully turned on right there and I'll give you an example. So it actually has three different brightness levels. So obviously bright, brighter, and brightest, or you can just completely turn it off. I kept it off most of the time because I don't need to have a backlight. It's very similar to like a backlight you would see like on a MacBook or some other laptops that have the backlit keys. So if you don't use the backlight, you'll obviously save the battery power. But if you're in a scenario where you need to have a little bit of light, maybe it's super dark, you will have that capability to be able to do that and be able to give you some light on the keys, which is very, very nice. Like I said, I never use this feature, but it may be something that you guys are interested in or maybe would need to use for yourself. So overall, guys, these are the main features. I definitely think they uh, they make this keyboard really stand out. And if you're looking for uh, this type of scenario where you need to be able to have multiple devices being controlled with one keyboard, I think this is a really, really handy keyboard to have, especially for 60 bucks. Um, and being that it's under $100, I think it looks really sharp. It seems well built. Um, everything about it, I haven't had really any issues whatsoever. So I'll, I'll definitely put a link down below in the description if you guys are interested in checking this product out on Amazon and purchasing one for yourself. I definitely recommend you looking into it because it's been a pretty good experience so far using the Jellycomb backlit Bluetooth keyboard. So that is it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. And if you have any questions, please post them down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. If you guys want to check out some of my other videos, you have two other clips here you can click on. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on my face. And don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they drop on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.